I'm Russell Wilson, quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks, representing the field goals. Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm Amy K. Nelson, and joining me right now is Seattle Seahawks' new quarterback, Russell Wilson. Thanks for coming through. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. So you get the call. You know you're going to Seattle. First thing through your mind. I was like, there's no way. You know, just because I, I saw the 425 number and I was just thinking about all the places I could possibly go. And the Seattle Seahawks is definitely one of the teams that I wanted to go to. And the crazy part is when I was training at IMG, my wife was down there with me, Ashton. And, um, you know, I was training and everything. And one night we decided to put all the teams in a hat. And the first team I pulled out was the Seattle Seahawks. And I was like, that'd be an awesome team to go to. Great offense, great coach, great atmosphere, unbelievable fans, and so I'm blessed to be there. What do you think about Pete Carroll? Well, he's an unbelievable coach, unbelievable individual. He does so much for the community. And then on the terms of the football field, he's so positive, so much energy during practices, and it, and it really fires the players up. What do you think will be the most challenging transition from going college to pro? Well, I think um, more than anything, it's the speed of the game, obviously. That's one of the main things, especially playing the quarterback position. But the more you know things, the more you learn, the more things slow down at the same time. And so I think that more than anything, just get in there and learn as much as I can, you know, be a student of the game. And I think that's, gonna, that's what's going to really help me. City of Seattle, what do you know about it? City of Seattle is the Emerald City. It's beautiful. Um, you know, I've, I haven't really been downtown quite yet. Um, been, with, been doing practice and everything. but. Um, I'm, you know, I'm staying not too far away from downtown Seattle, so I know it's a great place. Um, tremendous fans. I know the 12th man is going to be roaring this season. One of the things that I personally find interesting about you is, and this has been well documented, but you played baseball. Yeah. You were drafted, and you made you made the decision to stick with football. How hard was that, and why? Well, I was drafted in the fourth round by the Colorado Rockies, uh, 140th overall in 2010, uh, June 8, 2010. The next day, my dad passed away. So it was one of those situations where, you know, I was, knew I was blessed to have that situation, but it was one of those things where, man, you know, I wonder if this is the right thing for me to do or whatever. And so anyways, I, I played for a month in Pasco, Washington, ironically. Uh, then I went back to NC State, and I played at NC State for my junior season. We had a great season, beat West Virginia in the bowl game. And then I wanted to figure out if I wanted to play baseball for the rest of my life or not. So I committed every single day to it, went to spring training, and then I you know, played a full summer in baseball uh, for the Asheville Tourist. And, and I realized that's not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Why? You know? Because I knew playing football and playing the quarterback position, there's no better position. There's no, there's no better uh, thing to prepare for. You know, the attention to detail that it takes, the competitive nature that you have to have. You know, leading your team up and down the field with two minutes left with you know, 75,000 people screaming your name or, or rooting for you or rooting against you. you know, there's, there's no better thing than that. And, and so that's why you know, I decided to play football. I knew I had the talent. I just needed an opportunity. Baseball is essentially just a sissy sport, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. You know, but <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know you tough. wouldn't say that. Um, OK, what's tougher, uh, hanging back in the pocket, knowing that guys are coming after you, or posting up at second base and a guy's trying to break up uh, I definitely, I definitely say uh, running definitely, barreling right into you. Oh, right? that's a, that's a tough one actually because it all depends. But, Is it? Yeah, I think the toughest part is hitting that deuce, hitting the curveball. That's <laughs> probably the hardest part. That's why, I, probably, that's really probably why I had to give it up. That's why you're here right yeah, now. Yeah, that's right? why I'm here. That's why you're here. And you were a second baseman, which uh, was a little surprising to me. But how, how would you rate yourself as a second baseman, as an infielder? You know, I was very, very good defensively. You know, I definitely give myself an A on that part. Hitting wise, I was struggling a little bit, but um, you know, that's one of my strengths for sure. Okay, now getting back to football because that is why we're here. No more baseball talk. What are you most looking forward to when you start your NFL career, when the NFL season starts? What are you most looking forward to? Just the energy, uh, the, the long season. You know, it's a lot different than, than the college season. You know, college season, 12 to 14 games max. You know, professional season, 16 games plus, with not counting, you know, preseason games and everything. So I think, you know, just, uh, getting out there and playing, you know, in different cities, uh, going all over the, you know, the country and, and playing in front of tons of uh, tons of fans with tons of people watching you. And that's the exciting part, obviously. Um, but you know, the preparation that you have to put into it, you really have to make sure that you do everything you can to really prepare in the right way. And finally, are you on Twitter? Yes, I am. Is on this Twitter. really your Twitter handle, Dangerous Wilson? Dangerous Wilson, yeah. Dangerous 
Well said. Yeah, a lot of my teammates call me dangerous. Right. Hence the danger us. Right. D A N G E R U S S Wilson. Follow him on Twitter, check him out in Seattle, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. No Appreciate problem. it. No problem.